awesome here at South Meadow Lake. As you can see, right over here. This is up in the, uh, oh man, I'm blanking right now. The uh, Tobacco Room Mountains. And uh, yeah, so last night we got a total of, uh, let's see, what was that? Count the two, uh, zero hours of sleep. Yep, that's what I'm running on. Got off work late and wanted to do a crazy hike, left early. Uh, it's a little after five. I'm here at the lake to catch the sunrise in a little bit. Uh, power's starting to come up on the horizon. And uh, yeah, um, the road leading up to this lake was honestly the worst road I've ever seen. My car, I'm seriously worried about it. It's bad, like, I, I didn't even make it up all the way. I had to hike the last, you know, several hundred feet. Um, it's pretty horrendous, so, unless you got a serious four-wheel drive vehicle, I wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, I couldn't turn around on the road, really narrow, so it's uh, kind of in a tough spot, so, hoping it'll be good on the way back, but anyway, just uh, gonna wait here for sunrise. Gonna try and, uh, make my way up that ridge there and I think should be a ridge walk um, all the way around. Gonna try and get some mountains and loop back around here and we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Had to go through a little bit of bushwhacking to get through the, the trees, but pretty cool views. The sunset light is, or uh, not sunset, sunrise, excuse me, is uh, starting to light up the sky over there. We got some clouds over there, the lake. Oh, that's a cool waterfall off in the distance. Didn't even notice that. Anyway, I'm uh, making my way up these boulders and up the side here. And I think um, once I hopefully get to the top of this uh, this ridge, then hoping it should just be a ridge walk. Almost to the top of the little ridge we got here. Coming across a little bit of snow, but I don't think I should have to go through a lot. Oh, it was a steep hike, steep scramble. Not really any climbing though. Good workout, that's for sure. Yeah. So like I'm up on top here and hopefully I should just be ridge walking for quite a while until I make my until I make my way back. <sighs> Not a bad view. Not a bad view. Well, I didn't even know this was a summit, but here's the summit, Karen. And uh pretty awesome views looking down the valley. A little after 6 a.m. light rays breaking out. Man, that's stunning. Uh, there we go, we got in that first celebratory summer roar and uh, feeling good. Got some more mountains to climb, but uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm up here, still hiking along this ridge. I seem to have gotten myself into a bit of a sketchy situation. Thought it was just gonna be a ridge hike and uh, this is definitely not. Um, could either try and go up through that little chute or up to the left here. Both look pretty steep and I'm honestly not sure about them. I will turn around if I absolutely have to, but I'm hoping that I can make it through one of these ways and oh, let's check it out. I can make it up from here. Ah, okay. This doesn't look too bad.
think that was it. I hope. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I can go around there. Sure looks like I can go around there. I hope so. Oh. It was a bit steep climbing, but not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I don't think I would have made it up this near vertical chimney here, so I think I chose the right path. We're just gonna, oh, they just can't, cool. I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Ah, oh, here we go, nice. This is what I was looking for. Easy scramble up the backside. Right on. Should be back on track. Gonna take a little breather for a minute at first. Ramshorn Peak. This is the uh, second peak next to the unknown one that I didn't know was a peak, but I guess it is because it has a cairn, so I'm counting it. And uh, yeah, so not a bad view. Looking back towards the ridge the other way, that lake way off in the distance, you can see a small sliver of that the light rays were hitting earlier this morning. That was uh, Ennis Lake, so pretty cool to see from this vantage point. That's where I started, way down at the base there. And, uh, yeah, I'm honestly not even sure what these all these mountains are but uh yeah uh now i'm really hoping it's just gonna be a rich hike and no uh no more crazy climbing but we'll see just gonna keep going along the ridge and uh see how many i can get Last little jaunt to the third high point. I say high point because it's not labeled as a mountain or a peak. It's called Bell Point or Ballet Point, however you pronounce it. But uh, it's got a cairn up there. It's a high point, so I'm considering a summit. That makes this number three. Here we go, on top of number three. As you can see, the ridge keeps going quite a ways. And I was honestly thinking about doing a couple more when I was planning this out, but that's quite a ways. I don't wanna spend all that time, go that far and then have to come all the way back. And, oh, there's a super cool lake. Still got snow in it, oh, nice. Just want to make it back at a reasonable hour so I can check on my car, make sure everything's good with that, and just get back, at, you know, before it gets too dark. I mean, it's still pretty early, but I, uh, I always like to get on and off the mountain as early as possible while still enjoying the time. Haven't taken much of a break since I started hiking, so definitely need to Take a breather, have a snack, have some water, but just enjoying taking in those views. It's a little overcast earlier today, but the sun came out and it's nice. I don't know if you can see way off in the distance. It's pretty hazy, but you can see Ross Peak and the dip, and that's the Bozeman Ridge, that uh, far distant mountain range. It's really cool to be able to see it from this vantage point. <sighs> Whew. And we're up here on summit number four. Profiri Mountain. I probably butchered that. I have no idea how to pronounce it. 
but uh yeah i'm out number four and it's crazy it feels like afternoon it's only 10 30 in the morning it feels good to be out and climbing mountains that's the lake way off in the distance i came from uh just gotta make my way around here plan on getting that mountain and then this one over here and then looping back around uh but first i have to cross this uh this little section here uh ridge hike or climb can't really tell yet probably some of both looks kind of interesting so should be fun let's just keep her going was what I was afraid of uh, pretty decent sized gap in the rock in this connecting ridge uh, not quite sure what I'm up against yet hopefully it uh, will be passable It was not fun doing the splits there. I was a little wary for a second, but oh, made it across. Really hope that's the worst part of it. Hoping it'll be smooth sailing from here. I think so. I think we should be chilling. One more up and down, but I don't think any moves like that. Made it off that ridge. Thankfully, it wasn't too bad after that one little move. And I'm uh, casually making my way over to this bad boy over here. Well, just made it on top of mountain number five, Ward Mountain. Man, it's really taking it out of me. It's warm. Thankfully, it's not too hot, actually. It's uh, Kind of warm, but it's a nice breeze, which helps a lot. Yeah, check out Ennis Lake. What a view. Some clouds in the sky, but not too many. It's perfect. Perfect day. And then, just got that one last peak over there, and then I think I'm gonna call it. It's been a, it's been a good, but long day thus far. Still got a little bit more to go. It's an abandoned mine out here in the middle of nowhere. Old bed springs and who knows what. Guess there's no secret entrance to underground, unfortunately. It's pretty cool to check out. Sun finally came back out and it is roasting again. <laughs> uh, just gonna make my way up this little trail here, that guy over there, and then uh, start working my way down. Woo! Let's go, baby! Oh! There's that celebratory summer roar. Had to get that one in for the last one. Got in for the first one as well. Didn't want to bother you guys with all the ones in between. 
didn't want to overdo it or anything so first and last are essential though but yeah up here on the summit of south baldy in the tobacco roots that completes the uh sixth and final peak of my trek today and it's actually pretty cool i've ever i've never actually done six peaks in a day before i've gotten five but six is a new record so feels good glad to have gotten this one done i'm exhausted obviously you know getting no sleep and climbing six mountains does that to you so that's to be expected but definitely worth it and uh finally finished with the peak bagging section of it and i just gotta oh, start making my way down and back to the car so hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer all of these these paths look like they might be good but they also could easily get clipped out and I don't want to get stuck down there and have to come all the way back up. So I think this is tedious, but better be on the safe side, I guess. Well, I'm making my, my way down this gully. I think this is the right one. It looked like it was steep, but just uh, just scree. So hopefully that's the case, and we'll get cliffed out. I'll uh, guess I'll figure that out once I make my way down a little bit farther. Well, not exactly a mild scree field, but this looks like the the easiest path down. Nothing too fatal. A lot of loose rock. Really hope this is the last little pitch before I get down to the uh, to the scree. I think this is evening out. Sure hope so. Better not speak too soon. Oh my like I'll get cliffed out again. But I think we're chilling for the time being. There we go. Just gotta make my way down and out. Till the next summit.